Hello, hello guys, this is the FPS Game 125, gonna be some more Battlefield 4 gameplay footage for you guys. And this time, it's an actual legitimate proper gameplay this time, so, uh, it's not one of the cinematics that I did, like, before in my previous video. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. So, today's topic, okay, um, as you guys can see from the title, what the fuck, yeah. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? So, what made me think of doing this like video? So, number one, EA has been ripping off of us all the time for the past few years, or actually the, pretty much the whole entire lifespan of EA, whatever, I don't know. Um, and it's not very nice. So, practically, like, okay, so, Battlefield 4. Yeah, uh, Battlefield 4 is, is pretty awesome, I like it, if, until, like, until now. Um, apart aside from like the little tiny bugs and whatever like the, like those things, especially the revive bug, which is very annoying, and um, it needs to be fixed. Please, please, dice, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't, um, please fix it. But okay, and uh, yeah, my computer has exceptionally long loading screens for some fucking reason. Very, very long loading screens. Anyway, back to the topic. So, um. Alright, so Battlefield 4. Okay, they have released it. Um, everybody went to buy it. I, I bought premium with it. Um, so I got Battlefield, Battlefield 4 Standard Edition with China Rising because I pure did it. Got my dog tags. That was pretty cool and whatsoever. And that was pretty awesome. And so, yeah. And um, I went off to buy premium also for another like 50 bucks or something. So I, I paid to about like 110 bucks or something. And that's quite a lot of money for one game and I was actually expecting for a very nice polished game but as you guys know that is not the case we got a pretty crappy game in return from EA oh, well DICE also but uh, I respect DICE so um so what did we get we got a game that crashes every single fucking game at the start and then Dice because they know they patched it. They patched it and patched it and patched it and patched it, but still, yeah, nothing ends so well. It keeps on crashing, uh, the, the net code is terrible. And EA, they are the worst c uh, game publishers ever in history. They take your money, they don't even listen to you, and yeah, they just create all the hype and just do all the sh same shit over and over and over again. Making you buy the th thing, get like complain about it, and they don't. They say, "Oh yes, I'm, we are very sorry. We all know the issues." But if you know the issues, why don't you fucking fix it? Ugh, yeah. And here I'm like activating one of like the evolution moments in Dawnbreaker, and yeah, so and so forth, and get uh, get killed by R G O impact. Anyways, so yeah. Basically, um, EA, come on, please get your shit together, because this is not very nice. Seriously, this is, like, just terrible. This is just plain appalling. We cannot afford to have this again happening, because, uh, yeah. We're just, like, blind, just a bunch of blind sheep. And to be, uh, and actually, for a fun fact, DICE was actually still developing this game. They were still in the stage of developing this game. They were still polishing it, they were trying to, like, see, search for any bugs. You know, trying to like make the best um, experience as possible out from the, right out from the box, from day one. That's it. And he was like, nah, no, 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 no. We're gonna release it before Call of Duty Ghost comes out. Yeah, we gotta compete against it. We gotta show them what the world has off to, has to offer. Yeah, nice, nice, nice try, EA, by like showing what the world has, showing the world what you guys have to offer with a big fucking crap buggy game at day one. Thank you very much. I feel sorry for Dice. Seriously, this this is just a this this is a insult towards Dice because now because many people are getting the getting the um misconception that Dice is doing all this crap, doing doing all this um this like this old uh bad buggy game publishing whatever. No, it's it's EA who is make who is pushing dice to the limits and releasing making them release a game which is not even fucking finished it, it, it's, it's just ridiculous i mean i i paid 110 euros or 110 bucks wherever you live but 
it's 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 ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> and where does that go? Into EA EA's pockets, right there. And what happens to them? They just keep it, and they're like, "Yeah, ha ha ha, we got your money. You cannot do anything anymore now. You bought premium good. We're gonna make you buy more, more stuff because you're stupid and ha ha ha. You're gonna buy everything." Well, that's what I expect. That. No, that's what I think that the general people are gonna be. Well, that's including me actually. So, um, so yeah. I mean, seriously, <laughs> I I pretty I pretty much said everything that I could. It's basically. Fuck you, EA. Hey, fuck you, EA. And fix your shit. Because many YouTube and YouTubers out there, many players of Battlefield 4 or the Battlefield franchise or EA game um, thingamajigs are like that. And it's just it's just a bunch of like money diggers, gold diggers right now. Just like just like freaking um, females are just like gold diggers. They just search for money. Uh, whether they like they're like fucking ugly or something like that and like switching on the topic of like money DLCs so what are DLCs they are downloadable content downloadable content in the past were to like ex like expand the experience of the game to like make you more persistent and persistent and like to be uh, to make you more engaged into the game right yeah and in the past it used to be this way so you buy the game, and uh, like you you're playing with it, it's like awesome because EA didn't fuck them up in the past. I think so. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe they did already fuck it up at the start. But um, yeah. So you buy the game, play with it for quite quite some time. You're like, oh yeah, this is so cool, man. Oh my god. And then suddenly, well, the the, the, the developers of the game like they realize that you like the game a lot. So they 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 to like put all the sweat and tears into the, uh, into a new downloadable content for you guys to for you, for the consumers to like buy the game. I mean to, to buy the downloadable content and like experience a um, much more diverse um, experience in that same game, and that that makes the um, consumers very happy, and uh, like they love the developers then. So yeah, that, that was that was what used to be in the past. And today, we find, for example, with Battlefield 4, premium already at the start, okay, uh, I kinda get that, weekly, okay, weekly new content, okay, premium exclusive weekly content, yes, okay, that's cool, 5 expansion packs, what, I get 5 expansion packs? Okay, that sounds good. Uh, I guess I save a little money, right? Yeah, you do save a little money. That is true. But DLCs, you already made them, and you're not fucking releasing it in the vanilla game. What a bunch of fucking money diggers are you guys? Fuck you, EA. <laughs> Seriously, or well, perhaps it's also Dice this, but like, yeah, because Dice needs to earn a little money. But seriously. It's, it's fucking ridiculous, man. This is not what DLCs are for. The last fucking awesome DLC was Battlefield um, Bad Company to Vietnam. Uh, ba ba Battlefield um, Battlefield to, uh, to Bad Company to Vietnam expansion pack damage. That was that was an awesome awesome DLC, which died out pretty fast because it was it felt like a really different game, but. That's what downloadable content were in the past. They were supposed to be like, they were, they were supposed to be like really cool, fun, exciting, and it wasn't it wasn't supposed to be something that you were like to hate, since they don't like include it in the vanilla map. Because right now, okay, what DLCs have they made? They have made China Rising, Second Assault, Dragon's Teeth, um, something, 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 and yeah, they all announced. The fucking DLCs and they're not putting in the fucking vanilla game. It's it's ridiculous. We want those fucking things right now. But nope, he is not giving them because they want money and dice. Perhaps I'm not really sure, but I'm blaming EA right now for most of these things because they actually pushed dice to publish this fucking game when it's not even fucking finished and forcing them to like work so hard to like patch the damn game. So I'm blaming e I'm blaming all of this on EA right now. All of it. So yeah, go diggers, hmm, yay.
We will fuck you up. We are not gonna like you. Nobody's gonna like you unless you fix your shit. And yeah, this is Dawnbreaker. As you can see, Dawn. <laughs> and there's an AC-130 flying in the sky. And uh, this is no HUD. Um, the way you do this, put it into the console and type in, um, I think, um, U, um, capital U, capital I, dot, capital D, um, R A W, um, capital capital E N A B L E, uh, space zero, and then just disables everything. I think. I th I hope I said it correct. I'll just um link like put an annotation somewhere around here. But yeah, this park is fucking beautiful like this. Then this is what about I love about the Battlefield games. Well, the recent Battlefield games. It's only Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 and Back Company 2. That were like really visually good. Or back actually also back up and give it a back company one. And for some reason I'm fucking mad right here. Yeah. I don't know why. Fuck you, EA. That that's one of the, that's one of the reasons why I hate this. Well, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.